Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikkar. I founded Amrita Homeopathy. We have placed two locations in Bangalore, one at Kurumangla, the other at Marathali. Hepatitis, especially viral hepatitis, is of three basic varieties. Effectively, there are about six types of hepatitis. But the most common hepatitis, which we will be discussing today, is of hepatitis A, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. The hepatitis virus causes either hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, D, or E. Among this, hepatitis C is the most dangerous type. The other types like A can resolve completely. B has an acute phase and after which it goes to a chronic phase where the patient is positive but may not have many symptoms. D and E also are usually they resolved by themselves. But hepatitis C has a high chance of fatality and the disease is treated with so much of taboo that most people with hepatitis are really in a state of panic. They think that hepatitis B, if they get, they are not going to survive and they will go in for cancer and everything is gone, their life has become waste and so many thoughts come up in a patient with hepatitis B. The same with hepatitis C. Hepatitis A anyway resolves, so they know it. But B and C patients are usually under a lot of trauma. So first and foremost, in any disease, even if it is cancer, a positive mindset is what helps you to come out of it. Today, we see that a lot of patients with these kind of so-called incurable diseases are coming out of these problems by keeping a positive mind frame. So always keep your positive mindset. That's what will help you to come out of disease and get yourself treated by the right kind of treatment that will help your overall health to improve. No disease is always going to be fatal, though there is a possibility if you don't treat it. If you treat it well, that you have a high chance of coming out of it. Most patients of hepatitis pass through an acute phase followed by a chronic phase. An acute phase is an immediate symptom where you develop high fever with jaundice-like symptoms where the eyeballs become yellowish over a period of time. You develop extreme weakness, nausea will be there, vomiting will be there, loose tools may be there. And the patient is so devastated and so weak, there is absolutely no energy. If you see, if anybody of you uh, have undergone this jaundice, you know how severe the weakness is. So any liver related disease will be associated with a lot of weakness. But once it resolves, the body tries to resolve it and then it goes into a chronic infection where the virus is there, but it is not troubling you so badly. So in that chronic infection, your symptoms may not be very scary or may not be very devastating. But at the same time, it will cause some symptoms. It will show that, okay, I'm present in your body in the form of a weakness or maybe a digestive disorder or maybe you feel gas formation, some indigestion, some nausea vomiting may be there, burping may be there. These kind of small symptoms are indicating that you have some digestive disorder which is happening and liver is a major digestive gland. So correction of this infection can be done with various treatments. Homeopathic medicine has been associated with the treatment of hepatitis B since ages and so has also been Ayurvedic treatment. These systems of medicine have helped these conditions like hepatitis B and hepatitis C in various critical and non-critical conditions where we have treated it and we have helped the patient to come out of this problem. Some of the patients have even become negative. So it is important to identify what type of infection it is, whether it is hepatitis A, hepatitis B or hepatitis C, to know what is the prognosis of the disease. 50% of the patients with hepatitis B have a chance of going in for certain complications. But if taken care, I can tell you in my experience that most of the patients don't end up in any kind of complication. They may end up with only some gastrointestinal issues like indigestion and things. If treated properly, if taken care properly, they have a symptom-free life and they don't end up in any major complications.